All right, here we are classifying the last of my concentrates. 47 buckets basically came out to uh, five quarts of concentrate. Got it all in size. We got 150, 30, and 20 minutes over there. And uh, we got 12, but I don't think we're gonna find anything in it. Probably won't run it. So I'll finish this up. You see, I took the top off. It's over there. And we just got this, and I got a 12, a 20, and a 30 mesh all stacked on top of each other. And I got the catch cup under there blocked up. It's a little windy, so we'll add it. I got about an hour in this, and after I get this done, I'll pull it out, and I'll run my 50 mesh and 100 mesh at the same time. I'll get it. Load it up. You can hear it slow down, but she got plenty more power to shake. Somebody get this guy a tripod. Go ahead and pull this out. And get our hunter mesh out of there. That'll go in there. Get our 50. And we'll basically do the same thing again. Alright, we're back right in the hunter mesh. I did the same thing. Block that bucket up so it won't go away. Hunter mesh. And a little breeze and it starts blowing off. Concentrates uh, screen down to all the different sizes. We're gonna just come over here and uh, concentrate it to a black sand, kind of like these cups here. Black sand concentrate, and then uh, from there we'll feed that on the shaker table. And I just send plenty of the black sand right up in the cup, and you get most all the gold out of it that way. So we'll go ahead and start running this and uh, oh, I was going to show you that, we fried the motor. <laughs> I was taking this gold wheel out to the river and just didn't hold up, got lots of black sand in it and it seized up so I ended up uh, finding an RC airplane engine that had the same motor mount spacing here so I just replaced it, pulled the gear off, soldered it on the new motor, right back there. and. Uh, Use the same box I used for the high banker and the shaker table. Now runs the wheel. And now I got 
super slow or I can you know <laughs> so it makes it helps uh, concentrate the material faster I'll get through this these cups here probably take me an hour to get them all done got about an hour uh, screening everything down so we'll see how long it takes to get it on the shaker table and clean it got a place that's gonna give me they say 85 to 90 percent for clean gold so we're gonna head in the video down there getting some cash for the hard work so we will be back alright we're gonna start with the under mesh I like feeding the gold wheel with dry dirt and uh, so I just dry it and then sift it or it seems to work the best so and then all I do is just trickle it in here watch that sand come up I have to slow down the water just a little I want more to go in there you can see how much I'm getting in there already so and that's what we'll do here Kind of keep track of the time about how long it takes me. I predict about an hour. Got the wheel running pretty quick, so we will be back. All right, here we are. I got all that uh, concentrate ran. It took me about two hours to run it all, actually. So I got three hours. We got our 20 mesh gold there, and that's just out of the. All this concentrates out of the. Minor moss. <clears throat> all my other concentrate that you've seen in the pan is all in here. When I panned it, I snuffer bottled that up. So there's three days that look like that first pan right here. So I predict that's where all my 20 mesh gold is. A lot more. And looking at panning all my concentrate down, we got our 30 there, 50 there, and our 100 mesh there. Man, this thing here is loaded. That one's going to be really fun to run. So we got all those. Got this magnetic uh, mechanism I'm making for the shaker table. Let's go in and take a look at that. So we got the table in here. We got our sh magnetic remover. And uh, basically there's a wheel in there with magnets spinning around. And the snuffer bottle. It's going to have water intake at the top, and then as I turn up the water, it'll drip faster out of there. Kind of did a test on the hose. That works good. Filling it up will be a pain for now. I'll have to snuffer it every time and until I can get a screw on cap or something where you can shovel it in there and screw the cap back on with the water inlet so you can uh, get it dripping out of there. And that's basically going to set right there, give me the room for the shake. And then uh, it'll drip the water down there, and then I'll have to notch my table out. I built this ramp right here, and that ramp will slide up in there. And then that motor will spin around and grab the magnetics, bring it up to the ramp, and slide it down. I'll have a little waterfall going down there, so it'll send all your magnetics in a cup for you. So we'll be back once we get that all together and running. We're ready to run the table, except for i got to finish this mechanism first. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get some gold dancing on it. <laughs> 